welcome to Dr. Mix. <laughs> Here's the first episode about the making of Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. A seminal song, such a huge song, and I am so glad to see that you guys received it so well. That gives me a great occasion to talk some more about it. Look, I'm gonna go right into the detail, not before reminding you to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel, man. What are you waiting for? Yes, and hit that bell. Yes, that's awesome. So I want to first give you a little bit of a backstory behind this track, uh, this project that I wanted to do. I started it some time ago, definitely before COVID. In fact, uh, the guitar that you see play from my friend Dave Aital, who is a monster session player. He played with everybody from Shaka Khan to Craig David, Incognito, you name it. He's awesome. British guy incredible player we've been friends for decades and uh, we've been playing a lot of music together so uh that was filmed at the old studio <laughs> which is probably the last session that i have done at that studio so and the reason why i never finished this because too many things happened and i left them behind and i was also planning on getting a real string section for it which of course covid killed as an idea so when Audio modeling came along with uh, solo strings. I said, that's it, I gotta do it now. So that's why it took a long time and that's why you see old footage and new footage. You know what, let me dive straight into the strings and the horns. What a beautiful arrangement for those strings and horns. Strings on this track take center stage. I wanted to use something that uh, would work. This was a perfect marriage for the swam instruments, which I'm going to demonstrate just quickly so you understand how I've done it. So these are virtual strings. These are not sample based. There is an algorithm that imitates the physical behavior, basically models the, the instrument itself. And in order to take full advantage of the capabilities of this instrument, I have assigned a few controllers. Let me demonstrate. This pedals down here, on this pedal, as you can see here on the expression, I am controlling the intensity of the sound, the expressivity of the sound, if you will. Whilst on this other pedal, I've got the bow pressure, right? On this top control here, I've got the bow pizzicato position which I'm gonna demonstrate in a second. So basically with the left foot, I'm able to determine how intense the sound is of the violin. You see what I'm talking about? Vibrato. Now I'm gonna increase the bow pressure with this pedal, check out. See, it starts breaking, which is, it's so cool. Check it out. You can imitate somebody who is not able to play <laughs> violin, which is hilarious. Check it out. <laughs> See, this is how real this is. You know, if you're bad, it sounds excruciating, just like the original instrument. Basically, by moving the bow pressure here and the dynamic here, I'm able to impart a lot of expressivity to the sound. Check out. If I go really soft with the bow pressure, check out what happens. See, you start hearing the, the, the top um, harmonic to it, but it doesn't finish there because when I move this around, the bow position, check out. You see? So for example, one thing is if, if I go with the bow pressure all the way up, it will more easily break if I'm up here than if I'm down here. So down here I'm able to use the bow pressure quite a bit and get nice staccatos. Whilst if I want to go soft, I move the bow pressure uh, uh, the bow pressure down and I move uh, the bow up. 
See, up there. So I, I got a much softer sound now. I get a, a much softer sound that if I play it here, check out, and with more bow pressure. So that's exactly what I have done uh, to imitate the parts. Of course, this is the uh, violin. Then uh, you get the viola here. Panned slightly differently. Here we got the cello. Right? And finally, double bass. So you see the amount of expressivity that you can get with this instrument is quite commanding. In order to recreate the strings, I've used this as basically as a quartet. But if you want to really achieve the sound of the orchestra, now I've worked with orchestras a lot and I've tried a lot to imitate the sound of the orchestra without an orchestra. So back in the days, I would get maybe a violin player and I, I would get him to overdub and overdub and overdub and I still wouldn't get there. Now. It is still the case because you can't really fake an orchestra just having one single instrument and that's kind of the beauty of it and uh, that's part of the study that, that you make. So what I have done is I have created like a quartet section that would be like super realistic with all those beautiful attacks. Take this part, solo, solo, solo. Which, I mean, to be honest, this sounds already super cool and I pr probably would have gotten away with it, but uh, I still decided to use some reinforcement behind it. Like, for example, what did I use here? I've used Session Pro strings, a few instances of them, as you can see here. I've just reinforced a little bit so that we would get, you know, the body of an orchestra behind this. So that's how it sounds together. See all this expressivity, this, this is stuff that I have programmed like really down to the details. You see all this dynamic movement. This is the left foot and this is the right foot. You see, there is a lot of programming going on there, but you know, orchestra is a pretty complicated thing to imitate. To be honest, when it comes to redoing an orchestra, I have no better tools than the Swarm engine and whatever sample stuff a little bit behind it. And that's realistic enough for me to be extremely happy. I'll just go through some parts just because they're interesting. So the first bit, when the strings first come in, Yeah, and then you can hear a little fake string here. This is something that I've done with the uh, Prophet and uh, I just did like a fake imitation of strings because that's what happens in the original song. You see, they kind of come in like that. Let me just isolate this sound. Check out. So this is just a simple sawtooth with a lot of EQ to it, like this. So it's like super chopped and a little bit of uh, LFO and that's all there is. And also there are these reverse Prophet sounds, which sound like this. Yeah, simple uh, sawtooth, just attack. And that's how you get this effect. All strings and Prophet. That's super cool. Other interesting parts of the strings. Third 
Lawrence. What else here? Let's see what happens right here. For the glissando, I've used a certain sound as a reinforcement. For the staccato, I've used a different sound altogether. Still Session Strings Pro, but you know, completely different parameters, completely different um, sounds. And uh, so I'm treating this differently so that I can really dial in the sound that uh, I'm hearing. If you check out Swam, Swam is just exactly the same. Because with all this expressivity, they can manage staccato and legato. Oh, and by the way, Audio Modeling, the makers of the Swarm engine, are the sponsors of these videos. And I am very, very proud because I don't know any other string sound that's so realistic, so playable, so deep. Really respect to these people. In fact, you should check out the link in the description. I highly recommend that you check them out. They are really addictive. So having said that, pretty much for the horns, it's the same story. For the horns, I just used straight Swarm Engine, nothing else. Right? So here's the trumpet. It's truly amazing. For the horns, I like to use the breath controller. It goes like this. Yeah, that's super awesome. So let me show you other parts that I think are interesting. So this the horns are really heavily swung. So I put a lot of effort into making them like super tight, super together. And they're pretty much in, in unison. I mean, they have this chord here, but otherwise, uh, for the rest of the track, unison, the power of unison on the horns, baby. I hope that explained a little bit. I hope you're subscribed to this channel. I will see you for the next tutorial coming up. Stay safe, stay inspired. Dr. Mix.